Life isn't always perfect. You've probably heard this before, but there's truth to it. Life isn't perfect. Life can feel like a war zone sometimes, and some battles are harder than others. Some battles go on longer than you have the strength or think you have the strength to endure. Sometimes these battles leave you broken, hurt, and without Jesus, they might leave you in a place that's very dark. But Jesus, he gives us something. He gives us light. And he allows us to have his holy Bible that we can read, his word, that when we are going through these battles, he gives us the weapons, the weapons of the word of God to fight with. In Lamentations 3, 19 to 24, it says, I remember my affliction and my wandering, the bitterness and the gall. I well remember them, and my soul is downcast within me. Yet this I call to mind, and therefore I have hope. Because of the Lord's great love, we are not consumed, for his compassions never fail. They are new every morning. Great is your faithfulness. I say to myself, the Lord is my portion, therefore I will wait for him. So on these days, when your battle is raging, and maybe your eyes are full of tears, and your body is aching from all of the sobbing and just whatever is going on in your life, know that Jesus is there. You're never alone. Jesus is there. Now let's pray. Lord, let us truly, truly know the truth as it is written in Matthew 28, 20b. And surely I am with you always to the very end of the age. Lord, let us know you are with us. So as we fight these battles, we know we are not going to lose the war. Because in the end, you, Lord, will be victorious. You are the savior of the world. You are as gentle and loving as you are powerful. You will always win if we just believe in you and know that you are going to be there. If the world and the fears and the battles try and consume us. Let us be consumed not by that, but by your love. Let your love take over our souls and bolster us in this war that we are fighting for our salvation. The Lord is my portion, therefore I will wait for him. Let us live that. You, Lord, are who we wait for. In Jesus' name we pray, amen.